Hello virtual rut runners. This is Rob Krar. I am a North Face athlete and two-time winner of both the Western States and Leadville 100 mile runs. And I'm here today to talk to you about the importance of the long run in your training regimen. So why the long run? Uh, put simply, it's going to make you a fitter, stronger, smarter, and more confident runner come race day. You're going to be practicing in your training runs what you plan to uh, experience race day itself. And as the weeks go by, what once felt like a really long and intimidating long run become that little bit easier. Uh, a couple tips for your long runs. Make it a gradual process. Uh, don't jump from, say, a five mile run straight to a 10 mile run the next week. Uh, add maybe a mile, maybe two miles each week. This is gonna give your body the opportunity to adapt and minimize the risk of injury. Uh, how often should you be doing a long run? Once a week is the most common. And for the distances of the rut, I think once per week is that perfect number. How hard should your long runs be? Uh, you wanna start these runs at a, a relatively easy effort. Doesn't necessarily mean the entire run is gonna feel easy, uh, but going out too quickly is gonna minimize your chances of accomplishing your distance or time on feet goal for that day. They should be a priority as well. Uh, try and arrange the schedule so you're not doing, say, a, a workout uh, the day before. Um, give yourself the best opportunity to start your long runs feeling as fresh as possible. In your long runs, try and mimic what you'll experience come race day. So for the rut, it's incredibly beautiful, but a very challenging race with a lot of vert and technical running. So try and find routes that best mimic that. Other things to mimic are nutrition, practice in your long runs, what you plan to drink, what you plan to eat on race day itself, and also where and utilize the gear you plan to use on race day. So for a race like the rut, you're most likely gonna have a hydration vest on, an extra layer of clothes. Wear that on your long runs, get used to how it feels. You don't wanna be fiddling around with a brand new piece of gear on race day itself. These long runs are gonna take a lot out of you. Uh, so give yourself uh, the best opportunity to recover. So get some food in you very quickly after you finish. Include some protein so your muscles have those building blocks it needs to maximize its recovery. And then how do you quantify or measure your progress of your long runs? Well, be really cautious not to be looking at your watch, comparing paces. There's so many variables involved in a long run from the weather to the terrain to where you are in your training program. Um, what's most important is consistency. Uh, nailing those long runs once a week, that's what's going to give yourself the best opportunity to arrive in that starting line healthy and fit. I love the saying, it's better to be 10% undertrained rather than that 1% overtrained and injured or not healthy when it comes to the race day itself. And be safe out there. I think the longer you end up running, the further into either the backcountry or an unfamiliar territory and terrain. Uh, so let someone know where you're planning on going. Better yet, run with a running buddy. Uh, carry a phone, uh, an extra layer of clothes. Uh, be safe out there. So best of luck. Uh, I'm looking forward to joining you for the virtual runs uh, between August 29th and September 7th. Uh, and even more, I'm looking forward to seeing all of you in person back at Big Sky, Montana, September of 2021. All right, so good luck. Uh, train smart, stay safe, and uh, I'll see you out there.